Hey everybody, so this week's theme is basically an 80s look, so I decided to do an 80s um, makeup tutorial. And I kind of got the fact that the 80s was a really colorful time, and that's what I got from basically pictures on Google. Um, so I tried to make something. As of right now, I have no clue what the look is going to look like because I film my intros before I actually get into the tutorial. Um, but if you haven't noticed, my hair is actually, like, a lot different. Sort of. Sort of. It's not that noticeable. Um, if you can tell, it's kind of like strawberry blonde, I'd say. And my hair is a lot more evened out, sort of. Because before, I had wild roots. Um, the... Blonde highlights I tried to put in before school started didn't work out, um, so I like fixed that because they were really uneven before, and I just went with one color. And there's a whole story to how it got strawberry blonde. I originally got like a light blonde packaging, but I'll put that down below if you want to read it because I tend to make my videos a lot longer than I want them to be. And I always want them to be really short so that um, it doesn't take a long time to edit. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just put that below so you guys can read it. But if you wanted to see it, this is basically like the strawberryness. Strawberryness is mainly in the roots, and then it comes down to like a lighter blonde. But I really like it. I'm getting used to it. But it's really pretty. I guess. Anyways, okay, so. Um, I'm going to show you guys my 80s inspired tutorial, makeup tutorial, and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so this is what I came up with. It's kind of like not as extravagant and dramatic as some of the pictures that I saw. Um, I kind of toned it down a little bit and made it wearable, sort of. I don't know. I don't know if I'd wear this out. I don't know. It's not that great because I'm not as good as eye tutorials because I don't really focus on them a lot. Like, I don't focus on, like, making it look really, really good. Um, but I guess it's okay. Uh, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Um, but first, I don't know why, but I actually went with my eyeliner first. So I guess I'll just do that first. And I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Liner and this is number 868. Or 8 yeah, 868. And it's liquid liner. And it's a brown. And <laughs> it's actually the only liquid eyeliner I have. So I decided to use this one, but it actually I guess it looks okay. I saw a lot of winged eyeliner going on, so that's what I did, and hopefully I won't mess up on this eye. Okay, so this look, this eye looks horrible. I do not know what went down over here, but yeah, that's what happened. Next, I'm going to take this color from Urban Decay. It's really gorgeous. It's called Nar Narcotic. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. And just a little brush kind of thing. And I'm actually whew, taking a lot and just putting this over my lid, like over here. Okay, so it looks like that, and then I'm just taking a yellow color and putting that on top of that, like I did on um, the other eye. This yellow from the Coastal Suns palette right here, and I'll take a lot of that. And just put that on top of there. 
And then I'm just going over with a white highlight color. And I'm putting that up here. And down here. Like that. Okay. Um, now this train wreck over here, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So you're going to need a Q-tip, maybe even more than one for this little mess. And I'm just going to use these, this random makeup remover that I have. And it's Pond's the Cold Cream, the Cool Classic. And it deep cleans and removes makeup. Um, I've been using this stuff for as long as I can remember. So I'm just going to basically create this shape. And don't worry, you can always like go over with more eyeliner to fix it up and like when it comes to stuff like this q-tips are honestly your best friend Okay, so I basically fixed it, and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to put on this e.l.f. Regular and Waterproof Mascara Duo. I got this from Katie for Christmas, if you guys remember, from my haul from her, um, on my channel, Makeup Love Beauty. And I'm going to put on the regular one. And that is basically the 80s look. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But I kind of turned... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the best at doing tutorials unless I really, really think about it and plan it out. Um, yeah, that's what I did. And you can just use like a pink blush. I don't have any blush on because I honestly don't really like blush that much. But I'll show you what I used on my lips. Okay, this is Blush by Stila. Well, it's a lip glaze. And I don't know if this one's limited edition because I got it in the set for um, Christmas, the holiday set, whatever, from Sephora. So I don't know if this was like the limited edition one or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's one that they have. But um, it's called Blush. It's really nude and pretty. <laughs> and looks like that. And yep. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little holiday, holiday, what? Edie's inspired look, and I don't even know if this is inspired by the 80s. I don't know, I just saw lots of winged eyeliner, so I kind of went for that. And then blue and yellow, you don't really see that a lot, especially a lot of blue. So hopefully it's inspired by something from the 80s. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So I will talk to you all later or next week on Tuesday. See you guys later. Bye.